Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see how you can install Tailwind CSS in your Django project. Now, there may be a package out there for using Tailwind CSS with your Django project, but I think uh, that is quite a little bit hard for a beginner to install that Django package in your Python, and it's uh, like quite cumbersome. So I wanted uh, to show you a better way you can add a Tailwind CSS in your Django project. So let me start first by uh, installing Django. I have already installed Django. I have a, a environment directory here, and uh, I, all I need to do is just open up my uh, CMD and then start a Django project. So let's say the Django dash admin start project, and I can name this project as base. Then after adding a base project, we can move to the base project. And in the base project, we are going to open up this file with our code editor. So you can now see that there is only a, a base directory and manage.py. The next uh, two things I need to do is to add a templates directory where we will uh, store all our templates. And then we need to add uh, the static directory for uh, holding all our. Okay, sorry that about that. This should be inside uh, the main uh, base directory. Okay, so this should be static here in the base directory. Okay, now next thing we need to do is to configure our settings.py. We'll first go to the down here in the file and in the static URL section, okay? So you need to configure the static directory here. So in order to do that first, let me uh, add the import OS module so that we can join our base directory with static directory. So this will be a list. Uh, let's add static files underscore dars. And this is the conventional way of adding static directory. Okay, so let me add os.path.join and add the base directory here with my static directory. Okay. Now next thing we need to do is we need to configure our templates directory. So in the templates section of the settings.py in the dars we are going to add the templates so let me add templates in the quotation so templates and this should be named as the templates directory name okay so here is the templates directory and this should be templates so that is all the configuration we need to do and the next two things we need to do here is first let me add the index.html file so this would be our uh, template let me add an emit here and let me write here hello world and the other thing I need to do here is to add the styles.css or I can name it as main.css. Let me add a body with a background color. And this is only for testing purpose guys. We are going to remove this uh, style later in the video. Okay. Uh, then we'll add a views uh, file here in our project directory. So this will be views views uh, views .y. Okay. here we are going to import the render function from Django so from the Django dot uh, okay we need to add the from statement so from the Django dot shortcuts import render now we need to create another function here home and we'll pass request as our parameter then we'll render uh, the html file so we'll pass first request and then add the name of the file so this will be index.html and we have to return this as well okay so the view is done the next thing we need to do is that we need to import that view into our urls file so from the current directory import views and then we need to create another path here so I'm going to copy it out this and then I'm going to remove this and leave it as empty since this will be our home URL uh, we need to add the uh, views 
Okay, so why it's not working? Let me say from views dot home. Uh, this should have worked. Why it's not importing? Let me again. I think for some reason it's not importing that. Let me look. Let me see what. Okay, I see it's not. Why it's not importing? We have removed the list. So there was a typo error. Let me import the view in the URLs again. So let's say from current directory import views, and we are going to add the views dot home as our view function. And we we can also add name to this uh, URL. We can add the home as the name of the URL here. So that is the, the basic setup of your Django project. Now let me just run the server to see if everything is okay. So Python Metro py run server. And the server must have started. So let's go here. And let's write here Django. Actually, uh, sorry about that, not Django. Localhost 8000 port, that's the default port. We're going to add Django here. So as you can see here, there is the hello world, right? We can see uh, this hello world, which means that our project is now successfully configured. The next thing I'll uh, do here is add my uh, CSS files. So in our index.html file, before doing anything, let me just open up uh, or actually you know, just load. Uh, should have worked. The Django shortcut extension load static okay so load static and here in the in the head section we'll add the sling CSS and we will say that this is going to be our static okay so static okay we have to remove this part And we'll write here main.css. Now remember the main.css has the background color. So if this file is successfully now connected to our index.html, the page background color should be changed to blue. Okay, so since this is now blue, this means that our CSS file is now successfully connected. The next thing we need to do is to go to our tailwind CSS. So we'll write here tailwindcss.com and this should take us to tailwind css so what is tailwind css this is a utility first css framework backed with classes like flex pad text center and believe me guys tailwind is just so amazing i mean uh, after uh, using tailwind css for like a month tailwind css is my go-to choice uh, css library um, if you want to work in the web design sector okay and uh, so after coming to tailwind css we have to open up this get started file and uh, the very first option you will see in the installation is the tailwind cli so the way to use the tailwind cli is to install the tailwind css as a dev dependency and then you have to open or actually create the tailwind css configuration file by using the npx tailwind css init command so let me do that but before even doing that first let me open a uh, another terminal here in my vs code this is a bash terminal i'm using uh, uh using this by installing a uh, git in my system okay and then what we need to do here is we need to create an initial package.json and why we are going to do that I will explain the reason later in the video so first I will write here npm init and this this will start an empty package so all we need to do is package name yes we are going to hit enter base yes version 1 description 1 and you just hit enter and uh, just press everything to ok yes so this will start a package.json file and this is going to be very much helpful for us 
later because this will help us to run our Tailwind CSS in our project. Okay. So let me open up the package.json and we have already installed, uh, we don't have installed anything yet so there is no uh, dependency here but now we are going to install the Tailwind CSS. So I'll copy this npm install uh, dev dependency Tailwind CSS and then come over to my editor and in the, con in the bash terminal I'll just go ahead and paste this and start installing it. It will take a couple of seconds to install the Tailwind CSS and this will then create a node modules folder in your current uh, project directory. So this will also take a couple of seconds to complete the installation. Okay, so the installation of Tailwind CSS has now completed. The next thing we need to do is to create uh, some script stacks and also an index.css file to run our Tailwind CSS. So what I'm going to do here is that in my uh, static directory, I'm going to create uh, an index.css file. And even before actually doing that, we need to actually import the Tailwind configuration file. So in order to do that, we will uh, copy this npx Tailwind CSS in it, and then we'll paste it out here. And this will create a Tailwind configuration file in the current project directory. Now this configuration file is very much important guys because this will help you to look at all the files that will be using the Tailwind classes. So let me open the Tailwind config.js and the recommended thing is that you just replace everything with this script that is uh, provided by your uh, Tailwind official documentation and let me just go ahead and paste this out. Okay. So for now let me just collapse this and here is one thing guys that um, if you closely look this content is actually referring to a source directory a source directory which can have a uh, directories and multiple sub directories and uh, this is referring to all the html and js file but since we are just going to work with the templates directory and all only the html files not the js file we have to just remove few things from here so we are going to only use the templates directory so let me add the templates templates and here in this uh, we are we can just remove the uh, html and uh, js from this curly braces and what i'm telling the tailwind here is hey please look in my templates directory all the directories and the subdirectories uh, with the files that have HTML extensions. Okay, so this is uh, this should be our Tailwind uh, configuration. Or one thing you can do here is that you can just remove the templates, and this will go over your project and look for uh, all the files that has this HTML uh, extension. Okay. So if this doesn't work, then this will sure work. So let me uh, set the templates again. Now what we need to do here is we need to create an index.css file. So this will be index.css file and the reason we are creating another CSS file here because we need to add few uh, CSS actually uh, Tailwind directives here and these are directives that will instruct Tailwind configurations on how to use the Tailwind classes, uh, components, base layer, everything. And also this will help us to create utilities and components as well. I will show in a later video uh, where uh, how you can create Tailwind uh, components but I think that should be for another video. We are just going to see how to connect the Tailwind CSS with our Django project. So we are adding the uh, Tailwind uh, directives and after adding the Tailwind directives we need to create a script tag 
uh, actually not an HTML script tag. We have, we have to add this script in in our package.json. So let me open the package.json, and here I will uh, create a new script, and this will be our dev script. So in the dev script, in quotation, we are just going to add this script, and uh, all we need to do here is to change the input. So since we don't have a source directory, we have a static directory. We will change this to a static directory and in the static directory the the first file we are going to refer is our index.css because that's the file that is uh, currently carrying uh, carrying the the tailwind directives the next uh, file we need to refer is the output file where uh, the css will be generated by the tailwind so this will be so this will be our main.css file and we are going to leave everything rest so everything is done the next thing uh, I think there is no more configuration need here we just have to add these classes uh, let me just before that start the tailwind CSS so let me uh, actually this should be clear and I'm also going to clear everything from our main.css so the main.css will not have anything related to uh, custom CSS and if I reload this you can see that uh, the CSS is gone but now let me just run npm run dev and this will start our Tailwind development server so you can see that it started the script and now wherever we add tailwind classes this will create a, a basic css in our in our style or css and since this style is now added to our main dot css and since the main dot css is now connected to our index.html whenever we write uh, tailwind classes in our html that will be converted into a css and then it will be pushed to the uh, main dot css file and then we can use the tailwind classes so you can see that it uh, changed the font and this is the font that tailwind uh, generally uses okay so let me show you if tailwind is really working what i need to do here is let me go here in the example we have a h1 with a class of text 3xl font bold and underlined so let me copy this and let's go here in the index.html uh, HTML file in our template directory and I'm going to change the hello world with this okay so let me uh, go ahead and reload this and as you can see it just changed the font size and it has an underline I can go here and even <coughs> sorry about that I can also change the color so let me add a color of text purple let's say 600 and guys I'm using the tailwind uh, intelligence here so that's why it is giving me the suggestions so let me add that and yes we can see that it changed uh, the color of the text so basically this is it this is how you can uh, create actually install tailwind CSS or use tailwind CSS in your uh, Django project uh, maybe sometime uh, things will happen that you are making changes here but uh, the, those changes are not reflecting in your project so all you need to do is just go ahead and close the development server of Tailwind CSS and start them again okay and this will just start rebuilding every CSS or Tailwind classes that you have added in your project so guys that's it for today this is how you can do uh, or actually add tailwind css in your uh, project and i hope you guys really like it so uh, if you guys want me to deliver this kind of content to you uh, every week then go ahead please subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up uh, write a comment this will actually inspire me to run and continue this channel and uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, uh, video today Thanks for, uh, thank you uh, everyone and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.